If you're helping your child with their fractions homework and feel like you just need a little bit of a refresher, then this very short video is just for you. First thing I want to look at is simplifying fractions. When we simplify fractions, you just need to remember that whatever you divide into the top number, you must divide the same number on the bottom. So looking at 3 ninths, I can see that I can divide 3 by 3 and I can also divide 9 by 3. So since 3 goes into 3 and 9, I can simplify that and I get 1 third. 7 goes into 14 and 21, so I can divide by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2, 21 divided by 7 is 3. Now with 8 over 20, the highest number that goes into 8 and 20 is 4. But your child might look at this and say, oh, well I can divide by 2. And that's correct, you can divide by 2. In which case you get 4 over 10. So it's important that you remind your child to always look at their fraction and ask themselves, can I simplify it any further? Because in this case we can, we can divide by 2 again and we end up with our fully simplified fraction of two-fifths. And the aim is to fully simplify to the point where you cannot divide anything into the numerator and the, de the denominator anymore. When we're adding fractions, the key is that the denominator must be the same. And once the denominator is the same, we simply add the numerators together. So 1 6 plus 2 6, 1 plus 2 means I've got 3 6. And then we can simplify that one. 2 ninths plus 5 ninths, 2 plus 5, 7 ninths. When the denominators are not the same, we need to create equivalent fractions. So I can create an equivalent fraction of 2 sevenths by doubling that fraction in which case 2 over 7 is the same as 4 over 14. So now 4 fourteenths and 9 fourteenths I can add together to get 13 fourteenths. I've got 2 thirds and 1 quarter. So I can't just do one thing to one of the fractions to make them the same like I did in this one. So I need to think about what can I multiply 3 by and then I need to multiply f the 4 by something different to make them both the same. So I can multiply the 3 by 4 and I can multiply the 4 by 3 in which case both denominators will be 12 because I multiply this one by 3 I do the same thing to the top because I multiply this one by 4 I do the same thing to the top here. So I end up with 8 over 12 because I multiplied this fraction by 4 and I end up with 3 over 12 because I multiplied the second fraction by 3 and I get 11 twelfths.